One year ago, Mark Ingram announced he was retiring from the game of football. The Flint native rushed for over 8,000 yards and scored 75 touchdowns in his 13 year career in the NFL. But let's jump back in time to when Mark put on a show at Atwood Stadium. Ryan Slocum has more on our Alcera Auto Plaza Classic Athlete of the Week. He's one of the best running backs in the state with 14 Division I scholarship offers already on the table. God has blessed me with that talent and it comes just natural to me. It comes natural to him because his name is Mark Ingram. He is the son of former NFL wide receiver Mark Ingram. And while it's pretty cool to have Phil Simms' favorite target teach him how to play football, young Mark has found out that living up to his name can be pretty tough. I've kind of felt like I was in his shadow a lot, you know. You know, so I was never really, you know, Mark Ingram the second. I'm always son of former NFL superstar Mark Ingram. But all of that changed on August 23rd when Mark made his mark, putting himself alongside some of the greatest Flint players of all time when he torched Midland Dow for 319 yards in his first career game at Southwestern Academy. You know, I, that was that was a good game for me, you know. I mean, you know, I set a couple records. Can you believe some of the stuff he was doing, the cuts and no, the this? No, I, I can't. I still can't believe it. I think he's a creative player off a video game. That's how I feel like playing with him. And while many believe that running for 319 yards is a once-in-a-lifetime game, Coach Gary Lee thinks he can do it again because he believes Mark is a once-in-a-lifetime player. He's seen a whole lot more inside that helmet than we've seen because he's made some moves and, 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 you know, I can't understand it. I can't explain it, but I tell you what, he does it. When I get the ball, I just like zone off, you know. I, I don't really know what I'm gonna do when I do it. It's just, it's just reaction, it just comes. In Flint, Ryan Slocum, ABC 12 Sports. And Mark would end up going to Alabama where you could say he had a pretty good career winning the Heisman Trophy and a national championship in 2009.